So in this video, I'm going to use um, one of those common triangles and proportions uh, to find lengths of sides of a similar triangles. And then I'm going to do proportions for similar triangles again with, um, with, the, with less common triangles. So I'm given this triangle with angles 60, 30, and 90. And I'm given that the one leg is X, the one opposite the 30 degrees is X, the one opposite the 90 degrees is Y, so the hypotenuse is Y. And my other leg, the one opposite 60 degrees is eight. So, so you should know right away that Y is bigger than eight and X is smaller than eight. Because the largest side is opposite the largest angle, the smallest side is opposite the smallest angle. The medium side is opposite the medium angle. It's like the three bears in their beds. <laughs> or their chairs or whatever. <laughs> Solution. So this is similar to this triangle, my template triangle. And I just oriented it the same way because why not? Because then you won't get the sides, which ones you're supposed to do fractions of. You won't get mixed up. So I just oriented it with the angles in the same place and I just made it look a little smaller because square root of three is smaller than eight, but that's not really important. You can make it look bigger or smaller, it doesn't matter. You're just labeling the sides different, differently. Oops, I skipped ahead, I skipped way ahead. Let me go back. There we go. Okay, so that's my template size. So that's what I'm gonna get. I want to find X. So I take X over one. So it's over the corresponding side. X and its corresponding side is length one on, the, on my template. You'd have to write this out yourself. It doesn't come with the problem. Only this comes with the problem. So you have to know to write this down. Then you get X over one equals, and then Pick a ratio where I know both sides. This one, eight and square root of three. I know those two, so equals eight over square root of three. And boom, there's the answer. X equals eight over square root of three. You don't have to rationalize the denominator unless you're told to. Okay, and you don't need to approximate it to two decimal places or something unless they tell you. You all know that by now, so because you wouldn't know how many decimal places to round it off to, right? And then I'm gonna find Y. So I take Y, I have to take Y over its corresponding side here, which is two. So that's four, it's Y over two. And then I could use X over one, or I could use eight over square root of three, which, in this one problem actually turns out to be exactly the same thing. <laughs> so I used y over two. So I'm used to doing these by habit. y over two equals the ones I know, x over square root of three. And then this two just goes over there, cross multiply the proportions, bing. 16 over square root of three. Those are my two answers. Now kind of put them in your calculator and see if it makes sense. Uh, just basic sense. This is a basic check. This one should be, is a smaller leg, so it should be smaller than eight. And this one should be bigger than eight because it's a hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is always longest. And it's not smaller because it looks smaller. It's smaller because it's opposite the smaller angle. X is smaller than eight because X is opposite 30 and eight's opposite 60. It's not gonna be half as big, it doesn't work that way, but it is gonna be, it is gonna be smaller than this one. This one's gonna be smaller than this one. Okay, next problem he is a little different. You're given two triangles and they're not one of the standard ones, but, they, but they're giving you two of them. 
They're giving you both of them instead of just giving you one, okay? And they label some sides and then they'll ask you probably what is X? And I got X, X over three, sorry, I can't read it for some reason. X over three equals, and then take the sides I know, five halves over two, which is, divide by two is like times, um, times a half, right? So I just wrote five halves divided by two because I didn't want to write five halves over two. I don't like mixed fractions very much. It's confusing. So I just put divide by two, which means times a half, right? In reality, I would just do that in my head, but I wasn't sure if you would follow it. So, right? So it's five fourths. And then you put the, you put the three over here. So it's 15 fourths. Right, I did it in two steps. Aren't I merciful? <laughs> so you get 15 fourths, and then I would check and see if it sort of looks like it's plausible. So where was X? X is here. This is clearly the largest angle because it's bigger than 90 degrees, so it has to be the largest angle. And so this has to be the largest side, and so it has to be bigger than two and a half. This is two and a half, right? So two and a half would be eight, nine, ten fourths. So yeah, it's bigger than this. So at least it's the right general size. It looks reasonable.